Now, I think this is enough we need to discuss regarding inverted generators. Let's look at the last topic in the generator chapter, and we'll look at the different kind of fuel options that you might want to consider for your setup. For the fuel options, we'll look at three different kinds of fuel. So gasoline, diesel, and bottled gas, or LPG. And I'll give you the values for the North American market. So I'll use the unit of dollars per gallon. Now you can clearly see here that gasoline is just a little bit cheaper than diesel and a lot cheaper than LPG. So if you just look at the uh, the fuel price, then I would say that gasoline is the winner here. But now if you look at the energy density, then the situation shifts a little bit. In this graph, the energy density is expressed as the amount of kilowatt hours per volume per gallon of fuel. And you can see here clearly, maybe not surprisingly, that diesel has the highest energy density per volume per gallon. So by means of energy density, diesel is the clear winner. So let's draw one more comparison. So we, we compared it based on the price you pay for the fuel. We compared it on the energy density of the fuel. Now for the last one, let's look at the, the fuel efficiency. So if you take this fuel and you burn it in an in a internal combustion engine, what is the amount of energy that you can recuperate out of the liquid fuel? And here we can see that diesel is winning again. So diesel has got the highest fuel efficiency compared to gasoline LPG, and LPG has got the lowest one. And then if you combine these three values together, so the price that you pay for the fuel, the energy density of the fuel, and the overall efficiency of burning this fuel in an internal combustion engine, then you get one value, which is the energy price expressed in dollars per kilowatt hour. And not surprisingly, you can see that diesel is the winner here, but it's pretty close to gasoline. And the reason for that is that at least in North America, the prices of gasoline are a bit lower than that of diesel. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of off-grid energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go ahead again. Now, this was just a technical and financial comparison between the three different kinds of fuels. But let's also mention a couple of externalities that you might want to consider uh, when you're trying to choose which kind of fuel is best for your setup. Now, the first one we could identify is the fire hazard, uh, because there's a clear difference between uh, the group of LPG and gasoline versus diesel. Diesel is just pretty hard to set on fire. Um, so that's something to consider. But at the same time, the second one is the availability, because in many parts of the world, it might be easier to get one of the fuels over the other one. So certain uh, countries is much easier to get gasoline, certain countries are actually easier to get diesel. So this is also something to consider. And the third one regarding fuel rotation is quite interesting. It really depends on your situation. So I don't know if you're in a cottage, in a house, a boat or an RV, and whether or not you should be concerned about your fuel getting old, because I don't know how often you use your fuel. Um, but a certain situation, for example, if your main engine runs on diesel or gasoline, you might also want to consider for, um, for the overall ease of operating all your systems to choose the same kind of fuel source for your generator as you're using for your main engine. And the last one I want to mention is regarding noise levels, because diesel engines, they work with self-combustion, so they don't have spark plugs that ignite the fuel. And therefore, diesel engines, they are typically way more noisy compared to gasoline engines. So if this is an important factor for you, you might want to stick with gasoline generators. So these are just a few of the externalities that I want to mention regarding the different fuel options that you might want to consider. So you've got a bit of an idea what you can expect if you go for one fuel source over the other one.